Well, there is new hope for the critically endangered species, the southern bluefin tuna. A short time ago, member nations of the Commission for the Conservation of Southern Bluefin Tuna voted to adopt a new management procedure to allow stocks to replenish. It involves an increase on current fishing quotas. As scientific advice to the Commission says, tuna stocks are improving. Karen Barlow reports. A new plan to rebuild a species. Since industrial fishing began in the 1940s, the southern bluefin tuna spawning stock has plunged to just 5%. Today at its annual meeting in Bali, the Commission for the Conservation of Southern Bluefin Tuna decided to act. It's understood the member nations have decided to commit to rebuild tuna stocks to 20% of the original spawning stock biomass by 2035. I think this is the uh, right approach and uh, it's a good uh, first step to do uh, to, to the uh, approach. The Commission has decided that the total allowable catch for the southern bluefin tuna will increase by 1,000 metric tonnes next year. It will increase by 3,000 metric tonnes over three years. Australia has the largest quota and it has increased under this new management procedure. The quota will increase by 12% to 4,528 metric tonnes next year. The Australian tuna fishing industry is celebrating. Spokesman Brian Jeffrey says the result is very positive and based on sound science. And conservationists attending the Bali meeting are welcoming the plan. Do you think the target is feasible? I think so. It's quite feasible. And uh, people from the uh, compliance committee, they, they are really serious about the issue. Uh, I think it's, the goal is feasible and reachable. But other environmental groups had wanted the southern bluefin tuna fishing industry halted. We'd like to see the most precautionary uh, management procedure possible. For now, this struggling but lucrative species has a plan. Karen Barlow, Lakeline.